Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in these video clips I'm going to do a little voiceover because the audio in these clips actually sounds like this. So this is my five year old mare Fernanda. I bought her when she was rising three years old. You can see the video of when I started her under saddle here. Fernanda was started as a three-year-old and then turned away. She didn't do much as a four-year-old either. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you will kind of have seen the bits and pieces that I did with her as a four-year-old. She didn't do anything kind of the start of the year all through the summer. She was just outside in a herd with some of my other mares growing up and being a horse. And in September of her four-year-old year, I did a couple of weeks of groundwork, sat on her a couple of times. I posted those rides on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, so now it's January 2020. I worked her a little bit in the in the end of her four-year-old year, just a few rides, just kind of walked her a canter, just kind of check everything was in place because I had backed her almost two years ago and she hadn't done a lot since. So everything was in order there. She had a little break over Christmas. I had some time with my family and she had a little break out in the field with her friends again. So yeah, this, the clips you're seeing today are from a, probably about 10 days ago now, but I'm gonna make a little like video series so we can like watch her improvement and her changes and anything that kind of goes along with training a young horse so I have so like I said I started off I walked her five or ten minutes before depending on your young horse um, you might want to get to trot a little bit quicker I, I know Fernanda pretty well and she's pretty relaxed so I know I can kind of walk safely on a relaxed rein um, at the beginning of a ride like I said that might not be the smartest choice on all young horses depending on your stage of training with them and your relationship with them at that point so yeah, um, I think the most important thing with the young horses is to kind of manage your expectations. So at this stage with Fernanda, she's right at the beginning of her ridden career. She has been familiarized with what riding is. I've ridden her a handful of times. But now this month, January 2020, this is her like first month coming into like any sort of regular work. And when I mean regular work, as like a general rule of thumb for young horses, I always get asked this question. On average, you kind of want to aim to work them the number of days for each year that they are old. So for example, a four-year-old you do four days, a five-year-old you do five days max. Fernanda is five. I do between, I'm planning to start doing between four and five days a week with her. And that will just vary depending on how she feels in her body. Um, so at this stage when I'm riding her, all that I really need from her is that she's forward thinking, she's going forward off the leg, that she feels relaxed in my hand that she's confident with everything that I'm asking her that she's not getting stressed um, I want her to always to be soft in the contact and really responding to my seat and to my legs and to carry herself as much as possible so here you can see we've popped into counter and her counter is still very weak so I'm actually just staying light seat of course just have uh, I have quite a little bit of leg on trying to push her forward into the bridle and when she softens I just pat with the inside rein there just to let her know that that was something that I liked, that I liked that response. Um, with her at this stage I'm just kind of staying large in the canter trying to help her find her kind of own balance, trying to help her find her own balance. She's, you can see the length of stride is nice, she's soft through her top line at times but there's times where she drops behind the vertical or she drops on the forehand. The clip you're seeing is actually, apart from the walking warm up at the beginning, you're seeing basically the whole ride. Young horses, obviously there's days where I will work her for longer um, and there's some days where you just don't need that. You might have done a 10-15 minute ride but for a young horse you can achieve a lot in that time space. So Fernanda's still pretty weak in her core and her posture. You can see throughout the video her frame is inconsistent. Sometimes she drops on the forehand or behind the vertical or perhaps puts her head up a little bit. Just, um, but that's just because she's green. Another thing I will say about riding young horses is to be very mindful of your management of them. You know, if they spend a lot of time in the stable, you can expect maybe them to have more explosive energy or power and that might affect the way you ride them. You might need to lunge first. Fernanda is stabled at nighttime at the moment because it's winter here and the nights are freezing and wet. Um, and she's outside in a field all day with uh, my other mares. Um, so that's just something to consider. Saddle fit is very important also. For example, if you are, as a human, going for a run, your first time ever, you would want to do it in comfortable shoes, otherwise it might make you not like the experience and you might not want to go running again. It's the same principle with the young horses. We want to make sure that the saddles we use the first time when we're starting them or the first rides that they do fit appropriately so that the horse can be comfortable. 
It's also important to remember when we're working young horses, it's um, quite normal for them to get sore because they're doing new exercises, they're doing different things that their bodies aren't used to doing and it takes time to build up strength and you also need to have a good balance of rest and therapy, stretching. Um, there's a lot you can do for your own young horse at home. Um, for example, Fernanda after her rides does some carrot stretches and every other day she does some leg stretches. And then before I ride her each day, she also does some belly lifts and butt tucks. All these sorts of things are really good for helping to keep the body supple, flexible and strong, of course. And like I said, it's just about managing the expectations. At this stage, all I need is for her to go forward off the leg and to be soft in the bridle. And you can see anytime she has like a little moment of resistance where she can maybe puts her head up or like braces against my leg. Um, or get stiff in the body, stiff in the back. My first response has to be to put my legs on first, not to correct it with the hand. A lot, if, a lot for a lot of us, it can be tempting to kind of correct with the hand first. Um, but it's important that you, in fact, use your legs and your seat first to encourage the horse to go forward. Then they can be soft in the hand. I've kind of been trotting for a few minutes now, and just to check towards the end of my ride. I'm gonna actually start to come away a little bit from the arena fence. The reason I do this is because I really then, it's a really good check of if you actually have the horse in the outside rein, off your inside leg, and that they're really kind of between the aids and they're not kind of balancing off the wall. So you can see here, I've kind of taken her a little bit off the track, trying to keep the bend in her body. And you can see, like I said, anytime she has a little moment of resistance, I'll kind of put the leg. When she kind of softens in response, I'll give a little uh, soften of the inside rein. So yeah, I will be making a little, hopefully, hopefully I'll be making a little series of Fernanda. So yeah, stay tuned to see her next ride and see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.